Whether you're just getting started with amateur astronomy or have many years of experience, the Celestron StarSense Explorer Dobsonian Telescope is one of the best investments you can make. Hello everyone, my name is David Farina, and I'm an astronomy teacher, planetarium, and observatory director, and former president of my local astronomy club. Over the past 15 years, I have been the go-to for astronomy information in my community. One of the most common questions is, which telescope should I buy? No matter who I'm talking to, whether it be parents who want to buy a telescope for their children or the adult wanting to start a new hobby, my answer is always the same, a Dobsonian. The Dobsonian telescope, or simply Dob for short design, is the most bang for your buck in the market due to its robust yet low cost base. This allows for the bulk of the cost of the telescope design to be where it should be, the optics. Dobsonian telescopes are known for their relatively low cost compared to other telescopes of equal size. A lot of people are intimidated by Dobbs because they are manual. You must know how to move the telescope and know a bit about the night sky to find objects. The StarSense Explorer changes all of that, combining pinpoint accuracy and star locating ability with great optics and an affordable price point of a Dobb. As a result of the patented StarSense Explorer technology integrated into the StarSense Explorer DOB, I have elevated it to my top recommendation for visual observation. Join me out under the stars for my first experience with this telescope and how that night brought back so many great memories of growing up under clear, dark skies. All right, so before you get started, one of the most important things to bring along with you, or just to set up in advance, would be to get the StarSense app on your phone so that you can take full advantage of the StarSense Explorer Dobsonian telescopes. This little web code comes along with your StarSense Explorer Dobsonian, and this will allow you to connect your cell phone using this device right here to be able to find your way through the night sky with the ability of your smartphone's camera to look at the night sky and figure out where you're looking. From there, the StarSense Explorer app will guide you to any object of your interest. And so this is a very unique capability that no other telescope right now has other than the StarSense Explorer line of telescopes. This is really what excites me about this telescope because otherwise you're having to do this all on your own, which is a really big hurdle for most astronomers that are just getting started. So if you're just getting started and you'd like to share this with your friends, with your family, and you're kind of worried about being able to find things in the night sky, don't worry about that anymore. Celestron has got you. They've figured this out. They've got decades of experience making telescopes. And this next generation of telescopes is gonna blow your mind. To get started, all you have to do is to remove the cover on this mirror, load the StarSense Explorer app on your phone, connect your phone into the phone holder here, which will adapt to any phone, and you need to center the cell phone's cameras on this mirror. This is just amazing to me. I'm gonna click next. All right, now that we have clicked next, it says drag image to align crosshairs with eyepiece view. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to align my eyepiece with this star right here, which is Betelgeuse, and see how close it is. Guys, it's dead on already, straight from the factory. I don't have to do anything. All right, it says Betelgeuse, Alpha Orionis. Telescope on target, look through eyepiece and select new object. It says it's finding the telescope's position. Telescope on target. All right, so now that I have this, I wanna find something new. All right, so the next step is to try to find something new using the StarSense Explorer app. I'm now aligned with the telescope, so that's the first step. 
Now that I have Betelgeuse in both the eyepiece and here on my screen, I can now start my observations. I am noticing that because I haven't moved the telescope and because this type of telescope doesn't track for itself, that I can actually see Betelgeuse is moving on my screen because of the Earth's rotation. Think about it for a second. The sky rises in the east, right, and sets in the west each night. And so when your telescope here is stationary, this is tracking live through the camera and you're gonna see motion. And that's not because the telescope's not working. That's because the Earth is rotating on its axis. And as a result, the sky appears to be moving. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my menu. I'm gonna turn on night vision mode so that I don't see the bright screen from my cell phone. That's the first step in doing visual observation. You don't want your night vision to be depleted by staring into a cell phone screen all night. And because this requires the cell phone, the red light from the night mode really works nicely. And I would strongly suggest turning down your brightness on your phone as much as possible. Now that we have that step completed, we go to the search. We find whatever object you'd like. I, for example, would like to go with, let's go to the Orion Nebula, which is nearby here. And we click search. And it tells you that this is Messier 42, which is the Orion Nebula. And it also gives you a bunch of information on this. And it gives you some observing tips, which is awesome. And it even gives you some of the background data, quite a bit of background data, in fact. And if you really wanna to listen to this, you can tap on this little icon that has a speaker and it will actually talk you through how to view and what to expect when looking at the Orion Nebula, or many, many other objects within the database. M42 is the great nebula in Orion, one of the most spectacular sights in the sky, and without doubt the best of the nebula. It is within the Sword of Orion, due south of the famous three stars that make a belt. The nebula can be glimpsed. I really like the audio because this helps you as an astronomer learn things while looking through the eyepiece. You have to hear it. You don't have to actually read anything. You can hear it as you're looking at the object through the eyepiece, which is phenomenal. Additionally, once again, as you're coming in here as maybe a family uh, or trying to share this with your friends, you don't have to have the pressure of having to know everything there is to know about an object. You can simply have them listen to the audio along with you. This is great for kids, and I really think it's great for anybody, to be honest. Now to find the object, you simply click Locate. And you'll notice that we have some arrows showing up on the screen. And you simply move the telescope while looking at your screen. And you'll see it gets closer and closer until you finally locate the object of interest. And, drum roll please, it's right there in the eyepiece. So this is an absolutely awesome awesome thing. Never has it been easier to find things in a telescope. I promise you this is going to make your life so much easier when trying to view the night sky. In conclusion, the Celestron StarSense Dobsonian is one of the market's most capable, versatile, and easily operated telescopes. It makes a great first telescope that will grow with you as you learn and advance your knowledge of our cosmos. The Celestron StarSense Dob also makes for a beautiful gift, sowing the seeds of curiosity to inspire the next generation to reach for the stars. The integrated StarSense Explorer technology provides the needed assistance in locating planets, stars, nebulae, and even distant galaxies to make your night under the stars enjoyable for you, your family, and your friends for years to come. I'm Dave Farina, and on behalf of Celestron, thank you so much for watching. Keep looking up.